How's it going guys? We're here today at the gun range and we're about to do some testing on something that seems pretty cool to us. Um, there's a lot of videos similar to this on YouTube from Iraq Veteran 8888 to um, Hickok to Demolition Ranch. We're going to shoot a body armor plate. But there's one thing that's different <laughs> about this body armor it's plate. It's not AR 500. It's not fancy. It is yeah. a anti-terrorism plate as listed on Wish. Com. And what I understand from reading some things about this plate, it's not necessarily to put into a plate carrier as much as it is to be like you like you would put in a backpack to have um, just a, some body armor if bad things happen at, the, at, a bad, at a place that you don't need it to happen at. So, by the way, the audio might be a little crummy. I don't, I'm not 100% sure, but it's windy out here and we're not far from a road, so just apologize. <laughs> yeah, so you, I'll show the picture about right now. Uh, you can buy this plate, depending on which pricing, runs around $34. This is the medium thickness plate. So they do make one that's slightly thicker than this. The, but we got some hopefully we're gonna start out with 22 somebody forgot some 22 ammo at home we found some there's we, we, we found some so it's all right <laughs> we found some later at the range so if the 22 don't work then we'll immediately start with 380 9 millimeter then a 45 and then if that doesn't work i brought the 44 magnum and i have just sta a standard hollow point round and then Got a got a shotgun. Yeah, we do have a shotgun and, and three hundred black yell. And with an eight and a half inch barrel. Yeah, we got it. But it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're about to shoot this plate and see what she can hold up to. All right, guys. Vintage Ruger single six, twenty two long rifle. See if I can hit it. Looks like I hit it. Well, it looks like a lot of damage from the outside. Nothing on that backside though. It's not bulging, no. Sure split it, not even a dent, that's just the coating just in it. A, just that shock absorbing cover, coating on it. All right, so next up is this 380 bodyguard. Not even a dent, that protective, or that rubber coating thing, shrapnel Stop. protection. Kind of splattered out, but obviously nothing on the back side. It didn't even hardly scratch the metal. All right guys, SIG P259 millimeter. I guess defense rounds, see what she does. So, no damage just to the coat and steel. No bulging on the other side yet. But you can definitely tell a difference between that 22 and the 9. All right, so next up, we got some um, Hornady critical defense coming out of this 45 1911 Kimber. Nothing. Nothing at all. Not even swelling. Uh, nah, not a bulge. That stuff's pretty good. Now 357. I'm. I think this is 158 grand hollow points. Not 100% sure on that, but we'll see what happens. Huh. No damage at all. 
steel. Wow. Oh. We're gonna have to bring some big boy rounds out. All right, so next up, I have a 250 grain soft point, soft point for the 44 Magnum. I'm gonna try to hit that top one right. Failed to hit the top right corner. Hit the did you hit right there? That's warm. Hey, that's, yeah, that's, that's a, a hit. dent. That's a dent. That's our first dent. It's bulging out the back too. Yeah, it is bulging out the back. I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't see it on camera, but I didn't really take my time on aiming. But we finally have <laughs> a first dent with a 250 grain 44 mag. I do have an extreme penetrator around which we'll try here in just a few minutes all right guys next up is 12 gauge before we try the extreme penetrator around on the 44 i'm going to start off with a, just a light load uh two and three quarter inch number eights uh seven eighths of an ounce so super light like dove load or something start off with that and then we're going to do double up buckshot Safety first. That was a little bit better hit. But uh, and you hit on top of the 44 mag, pretty much. But it, it a bunch of pellets, yeah. new pellets, no bulges. Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing but that 44 mag spot on there. Next. All right. So this is an Underwood ammo extreme penetrator 44 mag round. I believe it's 220 grains. But I think it is, if I can remember correctly. It's going right at 1,500 feet per second. If this don't get through it, I'm gonna be extremely surprised. I may be extremely surprised. Sounded cool. Is that it? That's, That's it. it right you can see the copper off that. Wow. This place is freaking tough now. <laughs> That's insane. So we only brought two more guns to shoot it because we thought we'd be through it by now. <laughs> we, only, we have a 300 blackout and a 556. That's the only two guns we have left. Hopefully one of them two get through it. All right, so next up we got some a three, a three inch, one and a quarter slug. Got a little hollow point in there, but I don't think that's for anything really. <laughs> Thing keeps like a mule. Oh, <laughs> that's definitely the deepest dent yet. I don't know how well y'all can see it on this side from the camera, but <laughs> y'all can see that's one heck of a bulge finally. <laughs> We're getting somewhere. And that's traveling at, what did it say, 1600? 1600 feet per second. One and a quarter ounce slug. All right, guys. 300 blackout AR pistol, 120 grand hollow points. Let's see what happens. By the way, I made a smart decision to back up a little bit. Did not make it through, bulged the back though. 
a little bit, a little bit more than the 44 mag. Huh. Wow. Again, guys, I want to point out that this is a 34 to 38 dollar plate off a of wish. That I mean, wish prices change all the time. So we, this is blowing our minds because we never thought it would stop. But we got the 556, or actually the load that I'm gonna be shooting is a 223. We're gonna try it out. Right. So next up is just the standard 223 load, 55 grain. Um, I have this AR pistol, 10 and a half inch barrel. Right of it, it looks like. Really? Unless it went through it. I'm gonna shoot it again for good measure. That one hit it. Is that it right there? No. Tell you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna flip it to this side and we're gonna shoot it again. So we're gonna screw it up and we're gonna shoot it a couple more, a couple more rounds. Son. This dude's tough. Let's go look at it closer up. And it's leaving little dings in it, but it is not, um, not really nothing substantial at all. This plate is freaking impressive. Well. I got a few more rounds, so may as well. I think I missed one of them. Nothing going through. I tell you what, Zay. Give me that shotgun, a load for a slug. Alright. Well, guys, we got four slugs left. So I'm gonna shoot one because I wanna see what it feels like, then I'm gonna pass my shotgun off to Cade. Oh, it feels good, doesn't it? Sure does. Let me set it up real quick. Yeah. What, how many more? Two. Hit the 
same exact spot. Wow, that's hot. Well, we were successful. It took two, two slugs in the exact same spot. Two slugs in the same spot to get through it. And probably some more on that other side. <laughs> some more different stuff. It's warm, man. Some more. It took two, two slugs in the exact same spot. Two slugs in the same spot to get through it. And probably some more on that other side. <laughs> some more different stuff. It's warm, man. Yeah, some more. Well, I'm gonna shoot that last slug. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can go ahead and shoot it. Since I got it through it, you can shoot it. You obliterated that stick, too. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we did it. All right, full disclaimer, we are not supporting or condoning you going and buying this and using it to protect your life. I would highly suggest if you're using it for that purpose to go to a reputable company like AR500 or so many others that there are in the US. But when your life's on the line, you might need to spend a little bit more than $30. Yeah, yeah but in final about this, I mean, it's just awesome. It, it, it held up, I mean, it is metal, but it held up all the way up to a 44 mag. And it, I mean, it held up to a 223 and a 300 blackout. And it held up to a slug. Yeah. It had, Two it, of them now, that's a different story. <laughs> yeah. If you, if you were just, just that lucky to get shot by a slug in the same spot exactly twice, you may be in trouble. <laughs> just a little bit. But I'd say it did an awesome job for a $34 to $36 plate, depending on uh, Wish's, uh, Wish's discretion on that particular item. But we have some more videos coming in the future uh, that's similar to these. Yeah, if you want to see us shoot more like Wish or eBay, whatever, cheap. Uh, body armor that may or may not work yes, just man. go ahead and drop a comment down below because we uh, we do have a couple more higher power guns we just didn't bring them today because we didn't think it was gonna take it to get through this I mean it's a $34 body armor plate now let's think of it this way if you had this on you and you got shot one time with that slug you're hitting the ground I mean, you're not gonna be, you're not you're gonna gonna be happy. <laughs> yeah, you're probably gonna get knocked unconscious because that's a lot coming at you. Those slugs are moving 1600 feet per second. I don't even know how much. That's all it says. Yeah, it doesn't say anything. I'll try to do some research on this particular load and put it across the bottom of the screen right about now. So, we. We're surprised. Now, I think we gotta get out here and do some turkey scouting, don't we? Yeah, we're gonna find some turkeys. I, the season's coming up Saturday, so hopefully we'll have a bunch of videos coming out yeah. on that soon. And as you're watching this, this was this past Saturday, because we'll post this on <laughs> <Yeah>. Tuesday. <laughs> um, but I appreciate y'all guys watching. I think it was a pretty fun day. Uh, yeah. It's always fun to get out and shoot guns. This is America. Yeah, America, baby. <laughs> and always remember, live life. 25 high. We slip out to the field, climb a tree, shoot a deer. I reminisce about these days, man, I get a chill. We keep our trucks lifted up.